With the game being out for quite a while and the DLC coming soon, you may be ready to take out the next new set of enemies with parries and perfect dodges. But here are a couple more tips and tricks that could help you turn a tide in your favor during combat. These are general tips for most enemies and don't include anything non-combat related, such as whistle running or bomb jumping. Jump Cancelling All melee attacks in this game can be jump cancelled at any time. The most apparent use out of this is with heavy weapons. Just like in fighting games, Link's attacks have recovery after each swing. Because of that, Link is more prone to damage and enemies have a chance of getting away. This simple action during certain attacks unlocks true combos which enemies can't escape, such as this one. This combo is not guaranteed if you do not jump cancel the flurry rush. After each jump cancel, there are several possibilities that you can go along with. Also, to use this more offensively, jump cancelling can create attack loops that bully most weaker enemies and archers. You can also defensively jump cancel with a shield, allowing you to stop your attacks at any point and defend, leaving no room to get hit during attack recovery. Shroom and Pepper Updrafts one of the best offensive and highest damaging per second abilities in the game are updraft critical shots. And there are several ingredients in this game that create updrafts almost anywhere. Spicy peppers and sun shrooms. You can use this portable updraft multi-tool for sneaking into camps, getting critical shots, and jump attacking from above. This becomes even more essential when there is no accessible high ground or no burnable grass nearby. You can also make a permanent setup by setting up four bundles of wood on fire in close proximity to make an updraft. Bomb parries. This technique shines most during mob fights when you're surrounded by multiple enemies. Watch out! Jump canceling the bomb makes this much faster and safer for Link. This technique allows Link to keep his shield up while blowing enemies away. With practice, you can also loop the bomb parry over and over to stun loop larger foes, although the damage isn't worth it. Always remember the bomb goes off a frame first, then the parry. Sneak Strike Chains Any opportunity you have to attack an enemy alone, the Sneak Strike Chain is the best damage per durability attack you have. This loop is hilariously sad, and gives you ample time to do some shenanigans while you're at it. Parry Cancelling This allows you to act almost immediately after a parry with no delay, allowing faster counterattacks with more time. Judging by the Guardian's animation, this is how it would have looked in real time. While not the most game-breaking technique, sometimes these half-seconds are what counts in getting that extra hit or missing that critical shot during enemy recovery. I hope these tips will advance you even further in your combat and spark even new ideas that may have not come up here. Also, thank you to friends on Breath of the Wild Reddit for giving me some informative pointers on this video to make it as best as possible for you guys. If you liked what you saw, like and share this video with your friends, but please don't subscribe. I don't make content like this on the regular, so just enjoy what you may have learned today. Bye bye.